Hello lovelies, in this video we're going to have a look at the topics that Dr Edwards were predicting the OCR A Biology Paper 1 for this year. Now, this is just a list of topics that we think is going to be on the paper. Please remember to revise absolutely everything for this. Don't just do this list and then think that you're absolutely done. But if following on from this paper you want a load of questions, a load of worked through examples, then in this playlist you'll see the link to the video of the predicted paper that Dr Edwards has written for this year. So you can go and see how she's going to structure the answers, how she's going to lay out the answers, um, how she's going to approach everything. So you're going to be getting the exam skills as well as the knowledge placed on this list. So here is our list that Dr Edwards fancies for this year. So biology paper one, the very first thing, big topic right at the beginning there, we do fancy biological molecules, specifically carbohydrates in there. Because we know this is actually quite a big, complex topic, but because you taught it probably right at the very beginning of year 12, it's the sort of thing that people forget and think is easy and don't really revise too much, but it comes up in so many different places. This is one of the core foundation fundamentals that is really, really important that you thoroughly understand. So you know what's between alpha and beta, all the different structures that it goes on to make, how it's built up, how it's broke down. This is actually a much larger topic than you think by just saying, I was going to have a look at carbohydrates. One of the big topics that we fancy for this year is enzymes, including the practical, the practical activity groups for this. Um, so you're thinking about all the factors that affect enzymes. Can you draw and explain all of those graphs? Can you thoroughly explain the different models and the development of different models for enzymes? Can you look at a practical and say, this is the sort of thing that needs to be changed. This is the sort of thing that needs to be improved. Um, can you understand a graph from a practical? Um, so all about enzymes, all about that practical, that is one that we really, really fancy for paper one this year. Protein synthesis is a big topic, so how we can go right from the very beginning, right from the DNA, all the way through to the end to having a functional protein. But one area we would specifically like you to spend a lot of time looking at is transcription. So the actual how do things get transcribed and then following on from that where do they go and what do they do. This is a big topic in coming to so many different areas it's really important that you thoroughly understand the whole process from start to finish really really well. Receptors are really important and one of the ones and I hate have doing this one of the ones that we really fancy me this year because I can never pronounce this name is a pantheon corpsicle. Corpsicle? Please let me know in the comments down below if I've absolutely butchered the pronunciation of that. This is never one of the bits and sections that I taught for biology, but Dr. Edwards really, really wants you to understand the pan and pan and pan corpsicle really well for this year's exam. Looking at the different methods of gas exchange, so not just the the ones, the gas exchange in human lungs, but looking at gas exchange in other things as well. So looking at gas exchange, for example, in insects and all the different mechanisms that you need to know for that. So gas exchange in everything but we'd really like you to spend some time looking at insects. Gas exchange is a big, big topic, and we'd like you to look at it not just in the, the confines of the human lungs, but we'd like you to look at it outside of that as well. So specifically you can get insects and gas exchange in plants for this year. So these are big topics, and the really good thing about this is lots of common principles actually are common to all of the different gas exchange. So if you learn one or two really, really well, then you can apply it to lots of other different situations. Properties of water is an important topic because it links into so many different things and has such a different effect um, in lots of different ways. Yeah, water is one of those really, really interesting things and this is a great crossover with chemistry as well. So we'd like you to look at respiration, respiratory patients, um, all of the graphs that are involved in this, all of the interpretation that is involved in this. So that is the, if you're stuck for revision, that is the list that we suggest that you start off with. Um, and then if you want a load of questions on those topics, if you're not really sure about those, then Dr. Roberts has done a really, really long walkthrough, really detailed walkthrough of the questions based on these topics that we've written for this year's predicted paper. Good luck, guys. Don't forget, we're going to be here with you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I, I explain scratches. <laughs>